next coin in the commemorative half dollar journey and this is part of why i love this you know whole collection this set is because you can get some really really rare coins from the united states for way too cheap in my opinion I think it's an unrealized cheapness that exists within this set. Some coins have an ultra low mintage and, you know, the survivability and especially when it starts to get to higher grade coins, what's left out there and what was actually, uh, you know, slabbed and known about is ultra low in some cases. And it's it's pretty surprising the price for right now. Anyways, here's the 1921 half dollar from Missouri. And uh, this is Mint State 65, has some dark toning to this one right here. Very kind of, you know, plain Jane, kind of normal for United States coinage obverse. And then the reverse is actually a little bit more fantastic with the Native Americans on there and just cool stuff, cool stuff. All the stars, fantastic looking coin. Let's read a little bit about this from the United States Red Book of Coins. And it says, the 100th anniversary of the admission of Missouri to the Union was celebrated in Sedalia during August 1921. To mark the occasion, Congress authorized the coinage of a 50-cent piece. Robert Aitken designed the coin, which shows the bust of a frontiersman on the obverse. So right here is just a frontiersman. And a frontiersman and an Indian on the reverse. The first coins struck show a 2x4 in Cust, indicating that Missouri was the 24th star on the flag. The type without this marking was struck later, but was the first to be sold. So I'll show you what the 2x4 looks like. Um, there's a couple of these uh, by numbers on different uh, coins in this commemorative set. So you can see the 2x4 right there in the field, and you can also see the mintages here. So the two by four has only a 9,400 distribution. So mintage number, that's crazy. Um, and the 1921 without the two by four is only 11,400. So no matter which you get, you are getting, in my opinion, a rare coin. And as you start to get grades like this, 65 and plus, I mean, the rarity of these coins is so crazy, the price you have to pay for them. This is a little bit more of an expensive coin. Um, I wish I had the price for it. I'd like to say it was around the $1,000 marker. Um, it was pretty expensive, but well worth it to get this piece of history right here and what I think is also a pretty low mintage coin. So anyways, that is Missouri. Happy to have that one right there. Um, again, type set. I don't have to get every set or every coin in the entire set, like the two by four. But at some point, you know, along the lines of my life, if I have time, depends on what God gives me, I might try to get that two by four as well. But there is... Hopefully time for that, knock on wood. Spectacular, on to the next one. Well, hello everybody. I seek to educate and entertain through my journey of collecting coins and stacking precious metals. I encourage you to subscribe and please stay with me on this journey. I am Spectacular, the Silver Stacular. You know, when I was a kid, we did this every day in school and I believe we need to bring this back a little bit and I'm gonna start right now. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.